Hi guys. We're meeting Dane for the English class. And we are doing together today, we are going to discuss this comprehension called reading comprehension text called the drawing panda deck. Okay, this is an example of a non chronological report. And we said that a non chronological report is equal to an information text. The only difference is the use of subheadings. In a non chronological report, you use subheadings, while in an information text, you just put your paragraphs in the order you like without using a title for text. So let's start. The text is about the panda animal. So let's see. Panda bears are very popular animals. Very popular means famous and everybody likes them. The panda animals are famous and everybody likes them. Okay. So they are popular animals. Partly because of their unusual appearance. One of the reasons because of their unusual appearance. Unusual means strange appearance. People are not used to it. People are not used to seeing an animal that's black and white at the same time. So they like the defenders for this. So, partly because of their unusual appearance and partly because there is something mysterious and fascinating about them. Mysterious means not clear. There is something not clear about them. Something that we don't understand, something that, we, that makes us, we want to know more about them. And fascinating means beautiful. So, what's not clear about them is, is not a bad thing. It's a beautiful thing that makes us love them, and we don't know why. We love them for a mysterious reason, means we love them for a reason that we don't know, a reason that's not clear to us. But, what, but part of it is being strange and beautiful. Part of this love is being strange and beautiful, the pandas. However, the numbers are falling. Falling here does not mean exact fall, it means decreasing. So their numbers are decreasing. They are getting to be, they are getting to a fewer in number. They are, getting, they are fewer now. They are not like the other animals. They are not as many as the tigers or the lions or the zebras or all the, or even the cows and the, the the other kinds of birds and animals. No, they are decreasing in number. It is thought that only around 1,600 giant pandas still survive in the wild. Survive means live, or let's say manage to live, which is they make effort and fight enemies to live. It's not easy to survive, is to manage something and do it with difficulty. It's not an easy thing. This is to survive. And in the wild, wild here means in the, in the forest. Wild means forest. So, 1,600 is a big number. Yes, but if compared to the usual numbers of animals, which can be counted, the usual animals are counted by millions sometimes. We have millions of cows around the world. We have millions of lions. We have millions of elephants. Let's say, although some kinds of animals are subject to, to be extinct, but anyway, I mean, the numbers are millions. It's never 1,600. That's why we say that they are about to be extinct. They are in great danger, the pandas. 
Okay, the first subtitle that we need is appearance. If you have a title for a paragraph used this way, it's called subtitle or subheading. Okay? So, what does it mean? It means a title for a paragraph. It's a title, a short title for the paragraph. So, appear. Giant pandas have the same type of body shape as other bears. They have thick black and white fur, which some scientists think may be to disguise them in the snowy and rocky surroundings where they live. Let's get back to this part again. They have the same type of body shape as other bears. If, it, if it's about the shape of their bodies, it's not different from the other bears. They are the same in shape, the outer shape, the external shape. But they have thick black and white fur. The fur, the hair on their bodies, the thick hair on their bodies is black and white, which scientists think may be to disguise. Disguise is to hide. To hide them, to make them unknown in the snowy and rocky surroundings. In the snowy and rocky atmosphere and habitat that they live in. They live in an atmosphere or a habitat that's full of rocks and uh, sometimes snow in, in certain circumstances. So this black and white thing helps them to hide, to despise. And definitely you, you studied this in, uh, in science. It's about camouflage. So an adult can grow up to 1.5 meters. An adult is a big panda. A big panda means not a baby. A panda, that's a mother or a father. Okay. Can grow up to 1.5 meters and weigh up to 150 kilograms. They might look cute, but they have razor-like clothes. Razor-like are like the razors. This is a simile, which is very sharp. We have very sharp clothes. We also have powerful jaws for crushing and grinding bamboo. Crushing and grinding is eating and breaking the bamboo. Bamboo are, sorry, bamboo is kind of trees that's so long in big sticks like this one. And we use it, humans use it to make chairs and stuff. If you know it in Arabic, it's called kharazan. We use it to make chairs when we are by the beach, and different stuff we use bamboo to do. So for crushing and grinding is eating and breaking this bamboo. Eating and breaking down this bamboo. The second subtitle or subheading is the habitat, where the pandas live. Giant pandas in the wild live on mountainous slopes in western China. Slopes are mountains with slippery edges. So these are mountains with Slippery edges. In western China, their habitat is densely populated with fir trees and bamboo. These are kinds of trees. 
And I assume that you can guess the word densely. The habitat is densely populated with free it was fir tree and bamboo. Fir trees, we said that it's kind of bamboo. And densely is totally crowded. So it is the forests in these mountains that attract the panda as bamboo is their favorite food. This is where they live and where the bamboo grows. Okay. Next one is diet, and by diet we mean what they eat, what they usually eat. In the wild, their main diet is bamboo. To survive means to live, they need to eat for most of the day. Pandas are, f are famous for eating almost around the clock. Around the clock means all the time. In fact, they eat 15 to 30 kilograms of food every day and spend 10 to 16 hours feeding. This is very long because your usual day is 24 hours. So spending 16 hours eating is too long. In zoos, they have a specially prepared diet of bamboo, eggs, fish, and honey. They prepare this food for the pandas. But in the wild, in the forest, they only eat bamboo. Cups. Cups are the baby pandas. Name of the baby pandas. Name. Name of the baby pandas. A baby panda. A, a baby panda is called a cup. Newborn cups around 150 grams, about the weight of an apple. They are very, very light. Very light. You can, you can carry them with one hand like an apple and all and are all white at birth. They, they are not white and black once they are born. No, 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 no. They are always white. The black spots develop after about a month. After one month of their birth, when their age is one month, they turn or not turn, black spots appear on them. They begin eating bamboo at six months and weigh 31 to 36 kilograms at the end of the first year. Cubs stay with their mother for two to three years, reach maturity, so they, keep, they stay with their mothers for around three years. They reach maturity and they become big enough to support themselves what support themselves get food and, and get food for themselves now we say that be, that they became mature they became big when does this happen it happens at five to seven years and live in the wild for about 25 years so a panda most of the pandas die at the age of 25 other interesting facts Giant pandas, giant panda bears, have to eat every day, which means, unlike other bears, they cannot hibernate in the winter. They have to eat every day and for a long time. That's why they cannot hibernate in the winter means they cannot sleep. Remember, in, in science, definitely you studied winter sleeping. that many animals, especially the bears, they spend the whole winter sleeping. Drying pandas' bodies are able to digest meat, but they rarely eat it. Able to digest meat, they can eat it. They can eat meat and don't feel bad about it. Yet, the pandas do not eat meat. They only eat bamboo. Until recently, scientists told that pandas spend most of their lives alone. But new studies show that small groups of pandas can share a large territory. A large territory means a large habitat.
or place to. Okay, a territory is one place that's ruled but by one animal and the others are following him. So recent studies said that recently they can live in a large territory together. Okay, now we finish the information about family. Let's say this time. Why are people concerned about the giant panda? Many people fear that giant pandas will become extinct as only a few are born in the wild each year and they do not always survive. Why are people afraid that pandas become extinct? Extinct means disappear forever. Okay, so why are we afraid? Because we don't have a lot of pandas that are born in the wild, in the forest, each year. And the ones born in the wild do not survive. Remember we said that they are born at the size of one apple, so they are not able to survive. Bamboo supplies are diminishing, diminishing, sorry. Bamboo supplies are diminishing in panda habitats. Diminishing means decreasing. So bamboo is decreasing in panda habitats where the pandas are, um, where the pandas are living, there, there isn't <clears throat> a lot of bamboo. Cutting off a vital food supply. By, by, by decreasing the bamboo supplies, this means cutting off a vital food supply means affecting or hiding a vital food supply. Vital means important. When the, bam the, the bamboo disappears, this is an important food supply that goes away, it's affected. In addition, pouching and humans moving into the panda's territory have also reduced their number. Pouching, sorry, not pouching. Pouching, what's pouching? Again, I assume you can guess. Pouching is... <clears throat> Hunting, illegal hunting. Pouching is illegal hunting. People hunt pandas without caring for them. Even if you tell them that they're going to be extinct, no way. Because, why don't we like them? Because the fur of pandas is very expensive around the world. So they hunt it illegally. They hunt it against the law. So illegal hunting means hunting against fellow. Okay. So poaching and humans moving into the pandas territory. So poaching is one reason. And another reason for decreasing their number and getting rid of bamboo is when humans build their houses in the places of pandas. So, and humans moving into the pandas territory have only reduced their number. There are very few pandas in zoos, although this is changing. What does it mean? That the number of pandas in the zoo was very few. We didn't have a lot of them. But this is changing now, where there are pandas in captivity. Where there are pandas in captivity, Important programs are in place to try to increase their numbers and find out more about these puzzling creatures. So, where there are pandas in captivity? In captivity means locked in cages or zoos. Locked in places that humans made. You see? It's not in the wild. Okay. Not in 
of course. Okay. This is captivity. So when pandas are in captivity, important programs are in place. Means important programs are applied. We apply a lot of programs to try to increase their number and find out more about these puzzling creatures. Puzzling is confusing. Why are these creatures confusing? Because we do not know a lot about them. They are strange in color, strange in the way they are born, strange in what they eat. They can eat meat, yet they still eat bamboo. So they are strange creatures. How can people help? There are projects where people are invited to adopt a panda. How can people help to save pandas? There are many solutions. One of them is to adopt a panda. Adopt a panda take care, means take care of a panda. Take care, like a baby. You take care of a panda. How? By spending your money on this panda. You go to the zoo or to the institution where they raise pandas. You take care of them and you say, I want one panda, two pandas, more, less, whatever, to spend my money on them. To make research, to give them medicine if they need, to raise their kids, everything. The money goes towards researching, protecting, and monitoring them. Researching is to know information about them. And protecting is to save them. And monitoring is watching them. Why do we watch the panda? To know more about their lives and be able to help them. It's not only a matter of uh, keeping an eye. We are not watching the movie. No, we watch the pandas to be able to help them. It also goes towards supporting them in the wild. Supporting them in the wild could be by defending them. If there are uh, wild animals that want to attack them, we make special places for them. We protect the pandas in the forest. We don't leave them to we don't leave them to die, you see. What about the future? In two of China's main research centers, 19 cups have been born. There are research centers in China. This is the main place where panda is raised. And 19 cups have been born. 19 baby pandas have been born. There are now over 300 pandas in captivity, and the next challenge is to return them to the wild. Now we keep them in the center, but is this the usual thing for the, the usual thing for them? No, it's not. The usual thing is to live in the force. So this is the challenge now. It's something that we, it's not easy to do to put them back in the force. Why it's not easy? Because they are used to the human care. They are used for our interference as humans. We give them food, we wash their bodies. So we are not sure about what would happen if you put, we put them back in the force. We are not sure, so this is a challenge. The Chinese government has created 50 panda reserves to continue the work. Reserves are special places for them. Special places for them to live in, for the pandas to live in. We call it Animal reserve means places where hunting is not allowed, where, where wild animals are not allowed, nobody is allowed, it's only the fun. I hope that the text was fun, I liked it myself. Oh, we still have one paragraph. Okay, it's fun, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Did you know, in China, the panda is a symbol of peace. A symbol means a sign. It means when, you, when they see the panda, they remember peace. We have something like this in, in Egypt and the Arab world. We have the pigeon, you know, the white bird that flies in the sky. And when you see it, we remember peace. Our symbol of peace, our sign of peace is the pigeon. And the sign of peace in China is the panda. The Chinese word for panda is zangomao, giant card, cat bear. Because a panda's eyes are shaped like a cat's. The eyes of the panda are similar to those of a cat. Over the centuries, pandas have always been called spotted bear 
and black and white there. We start from the questions. And the questions are very easy. I think the text was a, a very good one. I hope you enjoyed it. According to the text, approximately how many giant pandas currently live in the wild? We said it, 1,600. Question two. According to some scientists, how does giant pandas fur help them to survive in the wild? The easiest question is, to help, sorry, to hide them in snow and rocks. To hide them in snow and rocks. Okay. Question three. Pandas grow up to 1.5 meters and weigh up to 150 kilograms. What else in the text tells us that giant pandas could be dangerous animals? We have two accepted answers. One of them can work either to say they're razor like claws, which is when you say that their claws are sharp, there. Close. Are sharp or they have strong jaw. They have strong jaw. One of this can work. You don't have to write the two. One of them grants you the model. Number four. According to the text, what do pandas spend the majority of their time doing? The answer is most of the day they eat bamboo. Question five. Number these facts about the life of the giant panda from one to five in the order in which they happen. The right order will be three, five, two, four, and one. According to the text, give one way that giant pandas are similar to other bears. We said it while we were working. They are shaped as bears. They, or they are the same shape as bears. And how they are different from bears. Giant pandas do not hibernate. They don't hibernate. Okay. Oh. Question. Sorry. Look at the section headed other interesting facts and complete. The sentence below. Recent studies show that the right one will be the last one. Some giant pandas live in the same area. Remember the part of the territory when we said that they can live in the same place. Now, look at the section headed. Why are people concerned about the giant pandas? Find and copy one word, which shows that there are lots of things we do not yet know about giant pandas. 
this will be puzzling. The word puzzling tells you that they are confusing animals. We do not know a lot about them. That's why we spend money on monitoring them, watching them. Okay, number nine, cutting off a vital food supply. Vital, we said important, and important is essential. Okay. Question number 10. According to the text, why are giant pandas under threat of extinction? Why are they subject to disappear? Because what happens? Okay, we have a lot of reasons. I'll give you the most important two. Very few are born in the wild, very few are born in the wild. This could be the first one. And the second one, some baby pandas don't survive. Some baby pandas don't survive. Okay? If you mention diminishing or disappearing of the pand of the bamboo it's still accepted because ba because bamboo is disappearing it still works two of these three can work okay if you mention people are taking their habitat or come into their play space it's accepted so people come in their place if you mentioned poaching it's accepted the illegal hunting okay all these reasons two of them can work this is one two three four and five any two of them can work okay okay question 11 according to the text how are people trying to help giant pandas survive again you have different accepted reasons for this and one of them can work joining them adopt, adopt a panda project they, they, they can join this project called adopt a panda or by creating reserves by creating panda reserves or by trying to make giant pandas breed by trying to make giant pandas breed breed means give birth to new babies this happens in the reserves they keep them away from the, their enemies so they can get give uh, birth to new babies. One of these can work. These are three reasons. One of them can work. This is one, two, three. Okay. Question 12. Look at the section headed, what about the future? Find and copy one word that shows that helping the giant panda is not easy. Very easy when we said it while we're working. The word challenge. It shows you that the, the task is not an easy one. Question 13. What is one name that pandas have been called in the past because of their 
Ate. But sorry, it's because of their fur. They had two names. One of them can give you the mark. They were called spotted bear or black and white bear. Number 40. Which statement is the best summary of the whole of page 5? Ah, I'm sorry. Maybe this caused you kind of... Um, you were not concentrating enough to know the page because it's not page 5. It's in your one, in your, in your book. The right answer will be the third one, how people are working to save giant pandas, which appears at your side on page... How people save pandas. This is page. Yes, this one. This is page nine, not five. So I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm very sorry if you did not make the right answer of this for this question because I should have changed it while I was working. Sorry for the mistake. This is page nine. So, using information from the text, you choose. Giant pandas are fascinating animals. This is opinion. Giant pandas' main food in the wild is bamboo. This is a fact. Giant panda cups weigh about 150 grams. This is another fact. I have to apologize again for this page. Because it was page 9. I don't know how I missed it. I'm very sorry. Okay. What will come next? Because now we finished the second comprehension and I hope everybody got the right answer. Your next lesson will be a grammar lesson called adverbs. Today is Thursday, so I don't, I'm not planning to give you homework on, over this weekend. We are meeting, inshallah, on Sunday and we're going to explain adverbs and then we get uh, homework then. So enjoy your weekend. Have a safe vacation and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we can meet soon, inshallah. Bye.